Hello and welcome to my project, which is Bucket Manager. It's a user for JavaFX application for managing XML files, which are consist of a satellite channels information. So it took me a while, and I have too many workloads at the moment from my customers and clients. So yeah, I need. To show my idea. So basically, I'm at the point where I have some sort of a UI, graphic user interface, and what I have missed, uh, I need to, before I do anything, I need to verify the input. Uh, so the user provides files, my application will expect that user provides valid XML files will which can which must can consist uh, XML information which represents uh, inf information about satellites and channels and services and so oops uh, let me just do it like here so basically what I need to show you I have my file types I prepared file types this is a valid valid type and I have prepared a not valid file type and I should be distinguished what kind of valid what kind of file type did I got so basically it should happen only then when I work with my when the user opens dialog and I separately kind of written this kind of stuff let me just go and find it at my project so now here let me just look it up um, open file example yeah so I, I kind of prototype it and this basically need to be verified by the tests but it will be like this so user opens and he gets this dialog he picks the file and then the application loads the data to the memory and represents to the user and user can work with data through the graphical user interface but before I can do this I need to make sure that I got proper kind of file and how I will go how actually I will go about on this what kind of what kind of approach did I took and what is my thinking pro thinking um, thinking procedure so in order to verify that I got the right type of my file I need to write a class but first I need to write a, a J unit and I write the unit test case so what I'm actually testing I need to test my valid type verifier so um, validate validate xml file test all right so and this will be actually at the package file util utils test now i have created this test and now I actually need to do following. Uh, I need to write my before each, but I first need to write my test like this and test if validate file, validate XML file exist 
basically not so good naming but anyway I, I just do it and here I need to make my assertion and this would be like we like file validate validate file validate XML file object all right so and here I need of course to create it um, I need to use my before each oops let me just do it basically and then don't need to throw anything at the moment and I just need to do following setup and in this setup I just need to Make sure, let me just do the declaration, private validate XML file and I need of course to mention it and here I just need to create the object new validate XML file like this and of course I do not have it and this basically fails but this is what I actually expect yeah did, did fail so let me just create this object so utils validators here is the place where I need to work from I create the class which is validate XML file uh, and then I just need to to do this like following so I add it to my JUnit test and now I can actually do the validation okay so Sometimes it does not work as I expected, but it's okay. And let's just run this test and this basically should. Yeah. So I have my class and in Java I have actually very good, very good um, stuff. I have file type detector. Uh, in my Java version 8 which allows you to detect and probe a file for the type and my experience I didn't work uh, work it with this class yet but it's not a problem because in the internet I have found already some sort of an example which I can basically use so this is pretty straightforward. I need to write a test which actually give me some sort of a which actually give me some sort yeah which give me some sort of notation what kind of type, file type I, I need to expect and and this is like following I just need to write a test test void test if XML if given XML if uh, given XML is valid so basically now I write the test and what kind of things I should give string path to valid XML which is uh, in my resource let me just do it like this copy qualified name and 
I don't think, let me just quickly think of it. So I have this kind of stuff, let me just look it up as an example. Because sometimes I think Okay, so now I just need to use like this button. So I just adjust. So I do some sort of adjustment. And the program later knows where from where to expect the file. So now I have the pref, and I expect basically I need to look up method uh, return type. Um, so files pro content type. Let me just look it up this class. It's basically okay, so not I just need to come on. Okay, so file type detector. And this is actually the class which I need to use in order to determine what kind of file did they got. But I am more interested right now uh, about prop content type, which used in this in example. Uh, so prop content content type, what kind of things he returns? The return value of this method is a string of the value of multi-purpose internet mail extension my type okay this is actually good and let's just quickly okay so this is a document from my might okay so let's just assume that I got some sort of a string and this string should be possibly um, in the way that I can able to understand it so I expect to get string expected result expected result is an XML String as the value is XML, and my assertion will be like assert equals. And what I'm asserting, I'm actually asserting that I got the proper text format, and this is what I actually need to check for. And let me just write here actual result. Let me just I don't need those. And here I just write following. So I see the error message when it fails. Uh, got wrong file type. And then I just need to write my string because I returning a string in my file type. Uh, let me just quickly bro. Uh, okay, so file type is a string, as you see. And this is actually good. So actual result, result, and then I just need to call my object. I call my object 
and writing here validate validate input XML file and then I pass I must pass through my text my path to the file and let me just do it like this create method and here I am so so I have written failing test Mm, yeah what I need to do so now I can use the code from the example below uh, undetermined pretty obvious what it is undetermined and let me just let me just go to full extent file name is so <clears throat> I need to use this string okay now let me just try catch file type and I should expect as an example what, what kind of stuff I can expect but this actually let's just uh, do it in the way which I hope pre wor will work for me I um, need to format because it has not not the good format formatting is actually is way out of the scale okay so now what I need to do still formatting my text system out print ln system out print ln okay file name this is a, actually I need to refactor rename path to XML file I think this is better and here I put it here I owe exception let's just input I think I need to put new files yeah okay now Let's just try it out uh, and see how it goes. I think it will fail because I don't know what what kind of output I should expect. I should get. So I got actual text XML. Cool. Uh, what I need to do? I just need to change my expected. And this should probably go like this. And it does work. But I'm not sure uh, what kind of things uh, it actually tests. I um, actually need to look it up. Prop content type. This method uses installed file type detector implementation to prop the given file to determine its context type content type each file okay oops so I hope it is some sort let's just let's just uh, try to to write a failing test so my next test I 
void uh, test if given wrong XML is invalid. So now I just need to write here path to invalid XML. Uh, do I have it? Uh, yes, here it is. Actually, I can re reuse this path. Okay, and now I just need to copy the file name. Copy, copy um, qualified name, but it was not so necessary, so I need, just need to do to work with this part of the text. And okay, so now, so now my situation is basically I should expect to get um, undetermined. And I just yeah, I need to put it like this. I need to call my method, but yeah, basically, yeah, basically, basically this is okay. So I passing the file which is invalid XML, my garbage XML pretty garbage like this, so it should be possible to. Yeah, it shouldn't be possible to to pass. It 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 will it will pass because I expect to. Okay, so now now we have a problem, and the problem is in following. I expect that is under undetermined. So it need to check not only the f the extension, <laughs> it it actually need to check the content of the file, which can be tricky. And you see, using test, I was pretty able to yeah to to find out the pr the problem. So now let me just think uh, through my code. So basically, I need to look up this prop content file because um, I need to look up different. Yeah, I need to. My prop content file need to be uh, more strict. And how I can do? How I can actually do that? Let me just think about. Okay, so now I figure figure it out. Uh, so basically, I need to use another way to verify my content of my files because <laughs> it is actually not fun. Um, I need to read the whole file and use URL connection class and put my stream to this class and this actually will get the contents of the file and determines a file type by the content and then I just need to close the connection pretty obvious stuff but let me just quickly run the test now it expects application XML and you see it pass and let's just look it up with uh, another kind of stuff. Now it takes a while. Strange. Pretty strange. Okay, so now ah, I forgot to... Yeah, I need to, to do this stuff. 
due to the actually I need to almost uh, let me just do this I need to change some stuff yeah because I need to provide a valid path now it is provided and I can actually execute this test Basically, uh, let me just assert not null. So I need to, to find assertion which clearly says that my test will fail. Let me just. I think it is assert false. Yeah. Basically, I need to use assert false. And then I just, I don't need this, I'm actually, boolean string, yeah. And let me just use my favorite uh, is empty. Yeah. So true if only if link is zero. Okay, so let me just, I think it will fail. Let me just quickly check it. I need to save it. I forgot to save it. Yeah, sorry guys. Now, okay, now what kind of stuff? I null pointer exception. Yeah. So it returns now. It returns a null. Let me just uh, value equal equals null. Okay, so I actually check like this. And Assert, assert false, it actually expects, let me just quickly look to the API, uh, assertions, yeah, I need to look it to the API, but I think, um, assert false, oh, okay, so I need to look, click on assertions. Assert that the supplied condition is not true. Okay, now I just need to. So I'm making some sort of negation negation of my actual result, but it's okay. I think now it probably will. Oops, wrong, 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 wrong. Yeah, I just use wrong uh, option. Null pointer exception. Yeah, uh, okay, it's not. It not wasn't not what I actually expected. I just clicked wrong stuff.
so hmm Let me just think about null pointer. Null pointer. Uh, null pointer. Yeah, because it cannot it cannot determine. Uh, yeah, and I know what I need to do. So let me just quickly do the stuff here. So I expect that that this fails. Assert not null. What is assert not null? Assert not null. It expects boolean condition. The supplied condition is not true. And let's just do it. What it expects. So if so, I just provide boolean result false. If actual result is is now let's just do it even better actual equal to now then i say result is true and pass this value so it probably fail because I'm passing through I think it is a uh, oh no okay so it's a kind of headache uh, Let me just quickly go to my valid validator. Let me just put it here. And let me just use it assert equals. Yeah. Assert equals expected expected result. I think I know what the, where is the problem. Yeah, I need to use it like undetermined. And basically what I need to do So I'm returning my mime uh, mime type and let me just do it here. Uh Okay, so now I have this special case. Mime type is null. So, and I need just to do it like this. I hope it works. Uh, let me just quickly check it with my test. Yay! So okay, so now, <laughs> so now I'm basically pretty sure that if user provide even if it provides an XML, I get here my XML application XML mime, and if the user provides XML but with garbage, I don't know, like. For the for the fun, it will not go further. You shall not pass.
oh yeah, reference from the Lord of the Rings. And yeah, so garbage won't be processes, won't be uh, given further to the other objects. It won't. And using this validate XML files, uh, XML file give me this uh, kind of assurance. So I know actually what kind of stuff I, I have worked with. So what I don't like about this code, so basically here I need to refactor this. Refactor to the method, extract method. Uh, and just right here check if given file if given file not XML okay and so now I have this ugly stuff mm, why you say because look how many lines it takes so basically yeah I have here this message I just yeah I will let it here continue to exist but I need to refactor extract method and I just write um, here like checking validating validating actual file actual file XML file okay and now it looks even better and this is actually where I'm processing it but it it should all work as it as I expect cool so I hope it was interesting and I basically making now short trying to make uh, always uh, short videos let me just quickly yeah run it one again so and and let just run all the suites uh, let me just change my build number it is in fxml I need to add the given files to the index. This file and add the index and add my garbage files, which I always now from now from now on I will use to make sure that my stuff works. And here I'm basically I actually want to run all of my tests, run Maven test. So now I, I'm, I have done the work. Uh, now I'm making sure that I actually working with the right stuff. So even if a user provides uh, some sort of uh, wrong file format it actually checks uh, by the it checks uh, by the content of the file it's, so be, because why I'm saying this again um, because you saw it's early that I checked only by extension but Checking by extension is not actually right. So if you check the extension, it not it's it don't make sure that your data will be consistent because if it if it's at some point uh, will be corrupted, then you have a problem. And what I need just to do, like go to my fxml and go to the about I think it is this is a 
it loads in the builder and I want to make sure that I provide my number yeah I can I can actually do it programmatically but I'm not do, want to do right right now so build is 11 and for me uh, build number represents uh, some change in the code base if I have done a lot if, if I have done work then it means that it is change happened so let me just quickly run my test yep it runs it runs the test Once again, yeah, it's, it works pretty fine for me. And what kind of what kind of next move you can expect? Uh, so basically, from this point, I can actually integrate uh, the stuff. Basically, from this point on, I can I can use so I can validate my XML file and what I need to do I need to yeah I need to show you once again. So open file example. Basically, I need to do following. I need to write the next feature, which will work basically like this. The user clicks on on the option open open picture. Let me do some example. I uh, see I can open many pictures. Yeah. <laughs> it not wasn't written by me. Mm. But the idea it is like the user opens a picture and I mean not the picture it open it actually opens a file. It, it gets this window. I extract the path from this dialog and ca call my builder object class. I actually calling the object of my builder class and build all the stuff and then when I build my objects I need to put to my uh, Three table view. Three table view. Three table view example. Here you go. So, yeah, done. I have done some prototyping. So prototyping always make me sure that I am on the right path. Yeah. So it basically, we'll do following. Uh, after I have done work with my with opening of the file. I load my data to this view and then I can start to work with my view. But I need to think about like I have not only this view, I have another. I have in my case uh, what kind of stuff I have in my case. Let me just close it, not need this stuff. So basically, I'm thinking this loudly, but but it is important to to say what what I actually want to do next. So where is my application? Okay, here. 
in the main form I have here to this is actually I think let me just edit included file yeah so here I have my three table view I have my three table view and I need to load the data to this three table view and the same goes for the another and I hope And I hope the another, let me just quickly, okay, so here I'm using actually, uh, what, what kind of class type I'm using here, so, let me just think about. Okay, so here I using some sort of a different stuff. I have here my so let me just table view. I I'm using actually a table view. Table view uh, favorite category table column table column top pane let me just think about ah now i got it sorry 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 sorry, sorry guys so yeah <laughs> didn't work uh, didn't work long on the project but tab 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 pane it is consist of yeah so i have a tab pane and in this pane i have a tab and Basically, what I need to do, I need to create. Okay, sorry for this interruption. Uh, so, basically, here I'm working differently. It's not a three table, but it is simple, simple tab. So I have my tab, and the tab consists the table view. The table view consists a table column which actually uh, represents channels channels for one favorite group and so basically I will have here uh, I basically prefer to, to to make sure that this table TV channel name uh, I'm quite kind of uh, basically this should table co column table view where I have here the text Why I don't see the text? Uh, I'm kind of puzzled uh, by this. So yeah, as I said earlier, I'm not a UI designer. So don't judge me by my design of my UI. But um, I'm trying to do the best. And let me just 
look at again layout properties text uh, what kind of what kind of it should be visible but it is not hmm. maybe it is about, all about of alignment I'm actually wait, wait a second text what kind of text they mean uh, Ah, I need to put it like it's visible. Uh, okay, where is my another? Here it is. Edi editable. It is a table column. Hmm. Kind of, I am kind of puzzled right now. Uh, okay, so I need to call it, give some ID maybe later. But let me just quickly try something out before I conclude this session. Uh, Let me just write here like channel name. And put it text alignment. No, okay. Let's just try it out. Strange, I thought. Okay, uh, let me just do some quick adjustment. So it is. Uh, it has some node orientation. Inherit. Okay, center. Left center, right center. But I need. To work on layout padding. No, it's not right. Let me just do this. Channel name. Let me just so basically this is this uh, represents this one column represents channels and I think I need to delete this text and don't think this is work in my case okay so I need to put like Set TV channel name 
and strangely enough basically I think it is all about property but mm, let me just okay so I don't want to make me busy with this stuff kind of stuff it's UI UI can be always challenge uh, like in my taste but it should be sufficient for this time and progress of my project and let me just go go and say following so now I have my I have written my validator I have show you that I can open dialogues with open file and when I switch to my um, when I switch to my whiteboard 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 like this here so basically now it now this stuff is working and now I just need to think about like pop populating the data uh, this stuff will be tricky because it this stuff uh, is consists of many things because I have my table view I have my pen pain tab pain and basically for this case I need to generate many stuff and this this part actually will be tricky because for the favorite group I need to generate like many 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 objects like tab paint objects and they will stick to one anchor to this anchor and it will be like like this like this like this and maybe it's not the best solution but it probably it will work for me and here I just need populate the data so basically I now in the next session I will start to 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 try to write a test case where I can populate the data but it will be quite fun because I will do it further in TDD and basically it will be like user interaction let me just draw the last picture so the user will click on the menu open file it will have it will produce an event open dialog view where the user pick the files he will pick definitely one one file by one file and then my program will uh, my test suite will put the data here and click on the button OK and check that it actually got hold of a path of from from the dialog window so this dialog window should just some sort of uh, adapter between my business logic and the user interaction but first test will be like uh, open the window three times and click on close so basically this will be the first test case test case scenario I the user clicks on the button file open one window arise then arise second window arise third window and each time it clicks on close 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 and this will be like test case probably here so till next time thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.